Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Thursday morning. It is now the 7th day of March 2024. This is the morning briefing. And as I look out the window of the Home Weather Office this morning, interesting. Um, get clouds, get sun, and just had a little five-minute shower go by. I, I, I had to keep looking out the window and go, wait, is it raining? Is it raining? Yeah, there are a couple little showers going down the west slope and over the home weather office this morning. And the west slope may also see another couple of showers as we go through the afternoon that I'll show you here in just a second. So today's also Thursday, which means that, of course, you have plans for the weekend. And there are going to be some chances of rain as we go through the weekend, especially the end of the weekend. So I'll show you the latest thinking on that. The thinking has changed from time to time over the last couple of days. We had been thinking maybe something on Saturday. We took that out. I'll show you the latest thinking on that. But first, let's start with the satellite. This is this is a beautiful satellite this morning. I always say that, but I, I really love these satellite images. So you can already see the, the north end of the valley, really from Sacramento or maybe uh, areas just north of Sacramento uh, to the north are all cleared out. And all of that right there is snow in the, uh, in the coast range uh, all the way up towards Shasta, which is right there. And then down to the south, you can also see the clearing bringing, this is all snow as well, but this is the cloud cover. And this is a little area that is bringing the little three minute shower that just went by my, uh, my house, the home weather office. And the clouds also, you can see the motion going from north to south. So at around, let's say Sacramento at this hour, we still have clouds and the San Joaquin Valley certainly has clouds, but they're all clearing from north to south. We also have clouds over Tahoe because you can't see the lake here, but you can see Mono Lake. And what we're going to see is these clouds clear from north to south, but we will also likely see a couple of showers pop up. Oh, you also see Lake Almanor right in there, all covered around in snow. So yeah, I, that's why I say I love these satellite images. I could I could look at stuff on all day and start picking out features. Anyway, so clearing in the north end of the valley, and that's going to be moving to the south as we go through the day. So the HRRR and the other models have been showing this as well, that as we get into the afternoon, this is around uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, some showers on the west slope up around four to 5,000 feet. Pollock Pines may see a brief shower uh, this afternoon. Wouldn't be surprised if these are even, you know, uh, little convective showers, meaning that there could be some nice little downpours in this, maybe some small hail. There's still enough cold air around for that. But it doesn't look as though this will get down to Highway 49. It'll try, but as we get into the evening hours, it all goes away. So that's our only chance of rain today. And there would, yeah, rain and snow, I should say. Uh, so there'd be some snow showers in the Sierra, but not enough to cause any issues traveling through the Sierra. It's just for those of you that do live around 3,500 to 5,000 feet, you may see a brief shower around 3 to 5 o'clock this afternoon, and then it all goes away. And then we stay dry. And then this is the HRRR going through Saturday morning, showing that next line of rain that we had been talking about, but that'll be dissipating. Let's pick it up with the GFS. And this is the usual overpainting. So for instance, I talk about this overpainting quite a bit. The GFS just doesn't have the same resolution. So this is the GFS's version of the HRRR's this. So the HRRR has one kilometer resolution, so it's picking up these couple of showers in here and these couple of showers here, and this is the way the GFS shows it. So it's trying to show the showers over the coast range and the snow showers over the Sierra. This is really uh, instructive because when I show you the GFS going out, keep in mind that when I show it to you, that it's overdone. Like I said, it doesn't have the same resolution. The grid spacing is much wider. The HRRR, the grid spacing is one kilometer, and on the uh, GFS, it's 25 kilometers. But the trade-off is that the GFS goes out two weeks. The HRRR goes out 48 hours. So a lot of people sometimes ask why I use one model over the other. Things like the HRRR and the NAM Nest, uh, we use because they're higher resolution, but we use them short term. We use them for today. We use them for tomorrow. We use them for the next 48 hours. And the GFS, we look at for things that are three to five days out. So if you look at this for this afternoon, this is not an accurate depiction of what's going to happen. But the GFS is going to be really good at giving us an idea, if you look at it the right way, of what will likely happen over the next few days, in the next couple of weeks. So this is Saturday. So even the overpainted 
uh, GFS is showing that system falling apart on Saturday. This is Saturday midday and this is Saturday afternoon. There will likely be some showers north of Highway 20 and especially uh, toward the Redding area and farther north, but and maybe a brief shower in Plumas County on Saturday afternoon, but that would be about it. This is Sunday morning. Keep in mind that uh, we also changed the clocks over the weekend. So this is 15Z on Sunday. 15Z as of today is 7 a.m. 15Z on Sunday will be 8 a.m. <laughs> oh, and I'll remember that for a little while and then I'll forget again. Uh, this is uh, Sunday night. This is 8 o'clock Sunday night showing a line of rain. Now this is, you know, accurate-ish. Uh, so this is when we're expecting some rain. Probably increasing clouds with rain developing as we had the late afternoon and evening on Sunday, meaning that if you had things to do outdoors during the day on Sunday, that'll be okay. We'll just see increasing clouds with a chance of showers overnight, dissipating. So this is Monday. You know, Monday might end up being a dry day. We might just be in between these systems on Monday. So that's Monday morning. This is Monday midday. This is Monday evening. And then this is Tuesday morning around 5 a.m. And then that's really it. Uh, again, keeping in mind that the GFS is overpainted. And beyond that, we are dry. So how much rain are we talking about? So again, I'll use the GFS and we've got a, a closer um, um, view here. So as we go through the day on Saturday, we're dry. And then Sunday. If you look at a place like Sacramento and Stockton and Modesto, we pick up a, a quick quarter of an inch of rain, but other locations are a little bit less, but most areas are around a quarter of an inch. Now, also, the other thing with the GFS is this is probably overdone a little bit. So while it says a quarter, it may be more like a tenth. You, usually I'll look at these numbers from the GFS, especially for the valley, and, uh, you know, I'll cut them in half, three quarters, something like that. Um, it's rare uh, for the GFS to, uh, to underdo it. So in other words, there's a very, 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 very small chance that this quarter of an inch of rain would turn out to be a half an inch of rain. Let's put it that way. And then on the west slope, you see, um, we do see a, a better rain. And then we're dry on Monday. And then comes the next thing on Tuesday morning. And that also gives us another quarter of an inch of rain. So between the two of them and you take off the you know, the half or maybe, you know, maybe three quarters of this, we end up with less than a half an inch of rain. And in the foothills, we end up with maybe an inch of rain, some better rain up on the north coast. And after that, we dry out and warm up. It still looks as though in the long range, we will be seeing a warming trend once we get past Tuesday. So next Wednesday, we'll likely have some north winds. And beyond that, we will likely see some sunnier and warmer weather with temperatures getting into the 70s. Who knows? Maybe even into the 80s sometime as we head through the middle part of the month. But in the short term, for your Friday and through the weekend, looks like the best chance of rain is going to be maybe at the earliest Sunday late afternoon, but more likely Sunday evening. Right now, Monday's looking dry, or at least mostly dry. And then the next rain chance would be on Tuesday morning, likely dissipating in the afternoon. And nothing stormy, so you're not talking about wind, you're not talking about big rain, and you're not talking about big snow, but there may be enough snow on Sunday evening for chain controls, as well as on Tuesday morning, enough snow above 5,000 feet for chain controls, but not enough snow for road closures like the nightmare we saw last weekend. So that's everything I've got for you uh, this morning. Uh, today is another uh, political day. We've got the State of the Union airing on KCRA at 6 p.m., so let's see, I'll be on TV at 4 and 5, and then at 8 and 10 and 11. I'll have more updates for you then. So get outside, make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.